All right, welcome back everyone to our continuing series on learning C++. This time I'm going to show you just a little bit about how to format numbers. Um, there is going to be a lot of different ways you can go about doing this. Um, most easily is the way, in my opinion, is the way I'm about to show you. We've included another library here called IOMANIP, um, which stands for Input and output manipulation. Okay, so down here you remember we see out our total and all we're going to do here is add one line and I'm going to do my best to explain it. Um, it's still going to be a little difficult for you to understand. We have something called set iOS flags and we're going to type iOS fixed. Same thing again, set iOS flags iOS show point and then lastly we're going to do set precision 2 and I know that the uh, syntax here is is really overwhelming especially to people who haven't used C++ or really any programming language in the past I apologize for introducing something that looks intimidating so soon uh, in this case the set iOS flags is uh, fairly straightforward. It means set input and output stream flags. Um, the input and output stream is, you know, our, our C outs and our C ins. Uh, in this case, it's all contained within the IO stream library. And what it means to set a flag is that we're setting a, a parameter of our output, that we're kind of changing an element that's internally recognized. In this case, fixed means that we're not going to be using any scientific notation. So, I mean, uh, in this case, you're not going to be seeing 10 to the, you know, we're like 1.06 multiplied by 10 to the 23rd. That's scientific notation. We're not going to be doing that here. Okay. Um, show point means that we're going to show the decimal point in a number. Um, it... I mean, that's that's all it is. So in, say, say you have the number 100. In this case, if you didn't have the, the next object there, it would be 100 and then a decimal point. So that's not really helping anybody. And lastly, set precision 2 means that we're showing two digits after the decimal point. So in that case, without further ado, we're going to have our total. Uh, come out after we input our values. So last time we did 10,000, 10% 10 of the year for two years. So we have uh, 12,100. Now since we know it's money, what we can actually do is toss in a dollar sign to appear before it. And we'll just recompile it one more time and type in 10,000, 10% 10 of the year for two years. And that's the amount of money we have. It's technically still not outputting exactly what we want because what we would really want is to have a comma in there. But the way to add commas without using something more esoteric is actually a very, very difficult task. We're going to get more in exactly how to do that later. Um, for now, suffice to say that this is the easy way to output money, and it should get you by for a little while. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this lesson. I'm sorry if it was a little bit quick, but uh, the next... I mean, you can estimate that our lessons are going to be between 5 and 30 minutes. As we progress into harder principles, they'll get a bit longer. In this one, all I really wanted you to see was get a quick little introduction to IOMANIP. Um, I wanted to show you set w really badly, but I can't show you set w because of the way the NetBeans compiler works. I tried it a couple of times before I made this video and probably wasted an hour of my life, but there's no way I'm going to be able to show you in a timely fashion. Um, with that much being said, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thanks for watching, subscribe, ask questions if you need any help, and I'll see you next video.